Hey there, it's me, Dave. We talked about personal protective equipment in another video, and there's one item we need to discuss in more detail, hearing protection. So listen up, if you still can. Hearing loss is a big deal, and it's a permanent disability. Once you lose your hearing, it ain't never coming back. So it's important that we realize how crucial it is for us to protect our hearing now. It may not seem like a big deal, but if you've been working around the scrapyard as long as I have, and you haven't been trying to reduce noise exposure, it's probably already affected your hearing. Just think about my mother-in-law, Ethel, and you'll understand what I mean when I say excessive noise exposure. You and I may not be running a super loud baler, cutoff shear, or shredder, but we operate vehicles that can be noisy. And we're usually around areas where the background noise is pretty intense. Here's the rule from OSHA. If the average noise level over an eight hour day is 85 decibels or more, we have a problem and the potential to lose our hearing if we aren't protected. This 85 decibel number is what OSHA calls an action level. It just means we need to take more action to assess the hazard and reduce or eliminate it. 85 decibels is the trigger. More importantly, OSHA says that our employers have to try and engineer the hazard out of the workplace to reduce this exposure. This is called an engineering control. If they can't do that, then they need to think about how they can limit the time an employee is exposed to the high noise levels. They call that an administrative control. And finally, if these two options are not workable, then we need to use personal protective equipment earplugs or earmuffs, and that should be the last resort. As you get older, you will naturally lose some of your hearing. If you shoot guns in your spare time, or listen to loud rock and roll music, or play in a band, you've probably already done some long-term damage to your hearing if you're not taking the same time some precautions in your off hours as you do at work. And most men seem to lose more hearing in their right ear than in their left ear. Ain't that a hoot? For me, that's probably because Ethel is always riding in the passenger seat when we go to church. That noisy Someone in your workplace should have done a complete noise survey. That's how you know whether you have a noise problem or not. And often your worker's compensation carrier can do that for you. If we have exposures of 85 decibels, we need to create what OSHA calls a hearing conservation program that will include a written plan, employee training, and set up annual audiometric tests for all affected employees. These tests will document a baseline of how well you can hear sound within the range of normal human speech. If you work in one of those high noise areas, you need to have training on how to use hearing protection properly. Here's an example. We use these squishy little earplugs that look like candy. Uh, by the way, they taste like crap. Believe me, I know. Here's how they work. You roll the plug between your fingers to compress the thing, and then you insert it into your ear canal and hold it there a few seconds while it expands. Once it's expanded, it makes a nice tight seal and blocks out sound. Since you're sticking these things into your head, make sure your hands are clean before you roll them. Your company is required to post a sign in all areas where there are high noise levels, and they need to provide at least two different varieties of hearing protectors. Here are some examples. You can choose whatever variety you feel most comfortable with, so long as they block out enough noise. The bottom line is, you're the one who will go deaf if you don't take care of your hearing. So you're the one who needs to wear the right equipment. That's part of working safely, or not at all. What the? Jack! The hell you doing back there? Jeez, that noisy s <laughs> bitch, bastard. Someone in your workplace. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that's that's when you know if you have a noise problem. <laughs>